All right, YouTube, another quick video looking at some um, inexpensive voltmeters uh, from Harbor Freight uh, or multimeters. Um, you know, there are several multimeter brands out there um, and Harbor Freight carries several. Um, and I'm gonna give my experience uh, with these voltmeters. Just note that, uh, you know, I'm just an amateur do-it-yourself guy at home. Um, so I don't do any heavy electrical work, uh, but I'll sort of give you my experience in using these. So the first voltmeter I got was actually this one. Uh, it's a Centec. It runs for around $6 at Harbor Freight. You can get it for under five with a coupon. They actually used to give it away for free. Um, and I had this one for quite a long time, many, many years. I think almost even in like a decade or something like that. And it works really well. Um, and if you're only going to get one and you don't do a lot of electric work, I'd highly recommend it. Um, it does things like uh, checking direct volt current or voltage, uh, alternating voltage, uh, measures amps, can measure resistance and so forth. Um, you know, they do break down um, and the places they usually break down um, are either in these connections or there's a nine volt battery inside that you can replace um, and you can repair them. Mine also breaks in these sort of uh, probes, um, and you can see I've repaired them, and I've repaired them a couple times. The probe connections get weak or the um, connections get loose. Um, finally, it just couldn't be repaired anymore, and so I uh, recently upgraded. So I recently upgraded to this Centec uh, clamp meter. It's called a six-function mini clamp meter. Um, and it works really well as well, uh, but there were some problems I had with it. So the first thing is that this is an upgrade, so it has a clamp meter, and this clamp works in two ways. You can actually um, sort of put a wire in between here, and it'll measure the amperage or the current going through there, which is kind of convenient because then you don't have to break out these probes, and the probes are a little bit uh, challenging to use. These are the probes here. Um, they're much sturdier than the previous probes. Um, but the challenge is you have to sort of take these off, these covers, and it's not a big pain, um, but uh, you know, it just makes it inconvenient. Um, when you do uh, use this voltmeter, I'll show you the problem I had. There's two main things I would use with the, uh, the meter. Uh, the first thing would be sort of checking outlets to see if they're alive or, or they're hot or not. Uh, when I'm doing work on, let's say, changing a switch uh, or changing an outlet. Um, and then the other thing, of course, is checking car batteries and checking their alternator. And probably the most common day-to-day -day use is just checking batteries. Now, the problem with this one is if you set it to check a battery, let's say, and you set it to uh, 300 volts here with the uh, solid line and broken line for direct current, and then the wavy line if you want to measure alternating current, um, and you can hopefully see this, is um, I'll take a good 9-volt battery, and we can check the current, or the voltage, rather. Got this switched around here. And what you see here is that the voltage for direct current only goes out to a single decimal point or a single um, digit. So this is an eight volt. This is a, and I think that battery is good. This is a battery I know that's kind of old. And this goes to seven volts. So it's really hard to tell if the volt, the battery is working or not. Um, Here's a one and a half volt battery that I know is good. And you can't even measure the current because this is really designed to check higher voltages. Um, so I think this Centec meter is kind of nice because it's got the clamp. It's a little bit higher quality. Um, the problem is, is that it is probably useful for home electricity as well as your car battery but is not useful in checking things like your battery or whether a battery is good or not. Um, and because of that, I sort of got this from uh, Harbor Freight recently. 
this battery tester directly. It's a uh, $6 uh, with a coupon, you know, it's under five. Um, and it's kind of convenient uh, because you don't have to deal with these wires, plugging them in and getting them checked out um, or make sure that they're in the right direction. This one's very simple. You just sort of pop it open um, and then you put a battery in here and you can see the indicator light coming up here or the indicator uh, LCD coming up and saying that's a good battery. Uh, for contrast, here you can see this is a battery that's a little bit weaker. And this battery is actually completely drained. It also tests nine volt batteries. Here's that original nine volt battery that was good. You just have to connect it to the bottom. I was trying to figure out how to put it in here before. It took me a while before I figured out the, the way you test the nine volt batteries on the bottom. Here you can see this nine volt battery is good. And this one looks like it is not, uh, it's a little bit weaker, but I know this battery's kind of old. Let's see, it's testing. Looks like it's not even registering or it's irregular. Uh, the one downside of this battery is, you know, there are three volt batteries here. Um, you know, like you have in your alarm system. And it really doesn't have a way to measure it. It really just tests nine volt and one and a half volt. So this, these types of three volt batteries are probably gonna have to break out the voltmeter for. But it's kind of convenient. You can just throw it in a, your case with all your batteries and just test them real quick. You don't have to deal with any wires. So again, um, you know, if you look at all the inexpensive Harbor Freight uh, voltmeters, I highly recommend this one. They used to give it away for free. It's only five or six bucks. Um, you know, you can test batteries with it because when you go to the voltage meter, it'll actually carry it out to two decimal places. So you'll get 1.50 or something like that. So it's much more sensitive um, in its range of uh, uh, assessing voltage and so it's 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 multi-purpose it'll do everything from your household electricity all the way to you know testing one and a half volt batteries uh, but with that said uh, that's sort of an introduction to these uh, lower end voltmeters or the inexpensive voltmeters from Harbor Freight if you have any questions just leave a comment down in the comment field um, and then uh, subscribe if, if you'd like to because I'll be posting more videos on Harbor Freight tools and general woodworking and hobbies in general. All right, take care, bye.